ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சி ஷாப் இன்டர்மீடியட் டு அட்வான்ஸ்டு டுட்டோரியல் இன் திஸ் இஸ் அப் சீரியஸ் யூ ஆர் வாட்சிங் ஆர்டிஎல்சி ரிப்போர்ட் அண்ட் ரிப்போர்ட் வியூவர் கண்ட்ரோல் நவ் வி ஆர் அட் தி ஃபைனல் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தி சப் சீரியஸ் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி ஹவு டு யூஸ் தி எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ஸோ தட் வி கேன் ஹைலைட் காஸ்ட்லி புக்ஸ் that means uh, we will highlight the book uh, which has the price 20 or above these are all the slides from uh, previous spots an expression editor is useful to form expression from the database field or you can form it from uh, uh, the standard field also in the previous uh, video we used the standard fields like um, um, page number current page number as well as uh, total page number so those are all called uh, built in uh, fields or uh, special field and we already used a expression editor to combine the current page number as well as total page number and we placed that expression in the report footer now we will use that expression editor once again and this time we will use the immediate if statement to perform the uh, background and foreground color change say db has fields for a person namely first name middle name and last name so these three are db fields right you can form an expression to join these three columns from the db and display that as an expression and you can call that as a full name so just like how we appended the standard field in our previous uh, video the same way one can append the database field so here we are just giving the example first name middle name last name but here in our case um, we use the expression field to change the property of a uh, report ui element all right that we will see soon here expression editor also offers built in standard fields so we already used those built in standard fields in our previous video we used the built in fields right first we picked the built in fields then we used page number then total pages and you can see how we accessed it page number slash then total page number so it will look like say for example you are viewing the second page of the report and the total page of the report is 10 so like this we displayed it in the report footer by forming an expression now that we saw this in the previous uh, video and we used the footer now we will go to our report and see how to use immediate if statement to highlight the costly books here we are considering a book as costly book when its price is equal to 20 dollar or more than that all right now it's demo time we will go ahead and implement this so here is our uh, report now we know that this is the table i'm just clicking it here and here you can select entire table like this or 
a specific uh, column by clicking the tile or you can click the detail section and if you see this row appear only once but this is the detail row and it will appear multiple time and each element here denotes a database field now here i am right clicking and choosing the tablex properties so the specified property is not there so here i'm going to the property window first let me go ahead with the background color and once i expand there is a field called expression that means here i am not going to set the color directly instead i'm going to use a expression that will tell what color to use First, let's put the equal sign. Then we will go to database fields, fields, data set, titles, and we need to write expression based on a price, right? So first, I am double clicking it. Here we are getting the database field. Immediate if. And you can see it is showing the tooltip so that's our expression if it is greater than 20 or we can go for greater than 90 if you want to include 20 as well then in the true part i am choosing color as here we are setting the background color right background color we are setting it as a black so this one expression is uh, enough and this expression will get evaluated for each row but because we are writing it for the detail section that means uh, the body part of uh, uh, the report here whatever we selected we selected this entire row right and we know that it will appear for multiple time if the database contains 25 rows the report will print the rows 25 times each time a different record will be picked and that will get displayed that means the expression will get evaluated for uh, 25 times if database contains 25 records and for each record we check the price based on that we select uh, the background and if you see here the true part is block that means if book is closely then we are setting the background color as black and if it is a normal book we are leaving it as white so this is for background color and we have to do the same stuff for uh, our um, let me copy this so because it, this is required right we should do this for uh, foreground color as well here we need to alternate the color foreground color should be white because previously we said black right if book price is more than 19 so that means we need to set white remember here we are writing the uh, expression for foreground color that's why uh, we know that when book price is greater than 19 as part of the background color the expression will give a black color here we are uh, setting the foreground color as white to match with this background here we have to go with black that's all here now we will save it and run this report that means it will display the form form contains the form 
okay if a book price is even more than 19 we are uh, alternating the color to black now let me go to page setup landscape and you can see there are two book which are costly here other two books are at normal price range so that's all here i hope uh, it gave you an idea of how to use the rdlc report that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye